Good morning, team. Uh, there is a positive news on Bharati Airtel. Uh, Bharati Airtel has increased the minimum price of reach, uh, recharge mobile plan in Ariana and Orissa by 57%. Previously, the scheme was 99% minimum scheme. Now it has become 155 rupees. And uh, previously also, when they increased from 79 to 99, they did the trial run. And after seeing the response, they made it pan-India. Now this is a 57% increase. And if they make it pan-India, the ARPU of Bharati Airtel is likely to improve. So this will be very positive for telecom stock. In that, you have only two companies. One is Reliance, which is holding Jio and Bharati Airtel. We like Bharati Airtel more because it is a standalone telecom company. JSW Steel uh, wins bid to build Boswana uh, JSPL, you know, Zindal Steel and Power. It is a win bid to build Boswana 300 megawatt coal power plant. This will be African countries only coal-based power plant in next 30 years. It is positive for GSPL. Government has removed uh, export duty on steel. In this front, stainless steel is one where the benefit will come. We like a Zindal stainless steel in this space. Yesterday itself, the stock was up 8%. Yesterday we mentioned RHI Magnesia. Uh, so, no, the all-time high is 740. I think this stock has a potential to target 800 rupees. Uh, no, they, uh, this is one stock to watch out for. Uh, yesterday, again, no, we talked about a deal between Arti Industries and Deepak Fertilizer. Arti Industries management was there in uh, CNBC and they said, you know, uh, the nitric acid prices have been volatile, which has been impacting. So they had a uh, 20 years contract. So this is going to be very positive for Deepak Fertilizer. They expect another 10 to 15 percent up move in the stock. Crude prices have come down. Uh, so this is good. <coughs> this is going to be very positive for India. When crude prices come down, even dollar starts to strengthen, which is very positive for banks, which is very positive for oil marketing companies. <clears throat> no, we don't like oil marketing companies, but for a small trade, HPCL, IOC and BPCL can see at least a 5 to 7% rally. So that is something to watch out for. Uh, Giant Basu, MD, uh, ITD cementation, uh, he told the CNBC TV 18 that construction business likely to be 1,50,000 crores and he is expecting an order of 10,000 uh, uh, crore order uh, in FI23, that is this financial year. If, uh, foreign funds have been buyers in India in equity for November to the tune of 30,385 crores and the total DMAT account from retail segment has been 10 crore 40 lakhs, which is the highest ever. Yesterday, finance minister uh, met industry captain. This is a normal exercise before budget to understand what is their demand. So they they have suggested uh, you know capex uh, should be done very aggressively. That is uh, positive for overall market. NCLT Mumbai approved. Uh, Reliance Infratel, which is which was previously owned by Arcom, acquisition by Geo Arm for tower business, positive for again Geo, food services market you know, that will reach about seventy nine point six five billion dollar uh, by two thousand twenty eight. The uh, services uh, foundation has said, and uh, the growth is about eleven percent CAGI. Uh, currently, it is about forty one billion dollars. So I think, you know, we like QSR space and, you know, re restaurant, you know, Jubilee and food and barbecue nation have been our topic, but these are for investors, not for traders, because the stocks are not showing enough strength for traders. It is about NHPC, uh, RHI, Magnesia, Deepak Fertilizer, and uh, now, you know, banking stock already 
Bridgesh has mentioned few banking stock. These will do very good. Uh, with that, over to you, Siddhi Jha. Thank you, sir. Good morning, everyone. Now, we will do this one more time. The first subject is on JK Paper. The JK Paper and Packaging company, the board of the company, they told that they will enter the agreement that will be acquisition of 85% state sales, Horizon Pack, HP, PL, and Security Pack, 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 and the balance of 15% state sales, they will be bought in the CS period. करंटली स्टॉक के ऊपर हमारे लॉन्ग टर्म के हिसाब से बाय रेटिंग है और जो टारगेट प्राइस है वो 472 है देन नेक्स्ट अपडेट है राउट मोबाइल के ऊपर राउट मोबाइल है वो अभी उनका जो स्टैंडर्ड कर रहा है प्रेजेंस गल्फ कंट्रीज में जैसे कि जीपीसी गल्फ कॉर्पोरेशन काउंसिल में हमने बोला है कि वो एंट्री तो ये एक पॉजिटिव डेवलपमेंट है राउट मोबाइल के लिए। The next update है जोमेटो के ऊपर। जोमेटो में सीरीज ऑफ रेजिग्नेशन चल रहा है, तो ये स्टॉक को थोड़ा कंसर्न देता है। Next update है नाइका के ऊपर। नाइका जो कंपनी है, उनमें जो आज पर जो रिपोर्ट्स आया कि उनका जो प्राइवेट इक्विटी फर्म है लाइटहा� FSM e-commerce venture से और जो ये e-retailer नायका है block deal से हुआ है और जो shares से उसका जो offer price around था 180 से लेके 183 इस में और total around 1.8 करोड़ का shares और 0.65 percentage नायका का overall stake offload हुआ है lighthouse two से block deal से then next update है भारतीय दल के ऊपर भारतीय दल ने उनका जो increase किया है reserve plan हरियाणा और उड़ीसा में जो पहले 99 था minimum अभी वो 155 होगा minimum balance करने का limit तो previously भी भारतीय दल ने trial run किया था तो previously उनका minimum plan 79 rupees का था उससे वो उन्होंने 99 rupees कर दिया और उसके बाद वो trial successfully run होने के बाद उन्होंने वो same plan पैन इंडिया थ्रू रन किया है तो उसके कारण ये अभी जो इंक्रीज किया है रिचार्ज का जो मिनिमम प्लान उसके कारण कंपनी का जो आरक्यू है वो इंप्रूव होगा तो ये कंपनी के लिए पॉजिटिव है और ये सेगमेंट में रिलायंस में जियो है और भारतीय एयरटेल ऐसे हम लोग को भारतीय एयरटेल ज्यादा पसंद है क्योंकि एक स्टैंड ऑन कंपनी है ये सेगमेंट में देन नेक्स्ट अपडेट है गवर्नमेंट ने जो रिमूव किए सेंडेस्टिल ड्यूटी तो उसके कारण हम लोग को जीएसपी लिए स्टॉक अच्छा लगता है और कल इसमें काफी अच्छा एट परसेंट की मूव हम लोगों ने देखी आ उसके ऊपर एक अपडेट है जीएसपी के ऊपर उसका जो बोझ पाना है उसके जो सेंडेस्टिल पावर है उन्होंने जो प्रेफर बीड किया था टेंडर क वो उनका जो नोटिस है वो एनर्जी मिनिस्टर ने शो किया है मंडे को देन एक आरएचआर मैनेज किया कंपनी है उसमें पोटेंशियल दिख रहा है हम लोग को यहाँ से 800 परसेंट का टारगेट का तो ये स्टॉक आप वॉच आउट कर सकते हो कल हम लोगों ने एक अपडेट दिया था कि आर्टी इंडस्ट्री आर्टी इंडस्ट्री और दीपक तो कल उनका आर्थिक इंडस्ट्री का मैनेजमेंट और सीएमबीसी पे आया था तो जो मैनेजमेंट मैनेजर की जो प्राइस थी वो उसके कारण हम लोग दीपक फर्टिलाइजर को फायदा होगा तो अल्मोस्ट ये पॉजिटिव है दीपक फर्टिलाइजर्स के लिए और स्टॉक में यहाँ से 10 टू 15 परसेंट की रैली है हम लोग को एक्सपेक्ट है न तो बेसिकली क्रूड ऑयल के जब प्राइसेस नीचे आते हैं तो डॉलर्स थोड़ा स्ट्रेंथ में इनको स्टार्ट करता है और ये पॉजिटिव रहता है बैंक्स के लिए और ये ऑयल मार्केटिंग जो कंपनीज हैं उसके लिए भी पॉजिटिव हैं तो एचपीसीएल और बीपीसीएल ये लॉन्ग टर्म के लिए अच्छे नहीं है बट ट्रेडिंग और ट्रेड बहुत सारी इससे अमीरता किया था तो कैपेक्स जो है वो अग्रेसिवली उसके ऊपर ही ज़्यादा ध्यान दिया 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 जा रहा है तो ये पॉजिटिव रहेगा मार्केट के लिए 
देन क्यूएसआर स्पेस में हम लोग को जो बिलियन फूड और पापिक्यू नेशन अच्छा लग रहा है तो ये इन्वेस्टर के लिए नॉट ट्रेडर के लिए ट्रेडर को ट्रेडर के हिसाब से देखना है तो एन एच पी सी है आर एच मिनिशिया है बीपॉक फर्टिलाइजर है और जो बाइकिंग स्टॉक्स है उसके ऊपर ध्यान दे दे सकते हो ट्रेडिंग और ट्रेड आउट के लिए देन नेक्स्ट सब देते जो फॉरेन इन्वेस्टर है वो अग्रेसिवली इंडियन इक्विटीज में नवम्बर में इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं उनको अराउंड करोड़ का ये मंथ में इन्वेस्टमेंट किया है और ये स्टेबलाइजेशन है रूपी के लिए और रिजिलियंस होगा डोमेस्टिक इकोनॉमी के लिए कम्पेयर टू ग्लोबल जो काउंटर पार्ट है उससे हम लोग कंपेयर करें तो देन नेक्स्ट अपडेट है जो डिमार्ट अकाउंट्स के नंबर है वो ये अक्टूबर मंथ में टेन करोड़ आए है जो नंबर है वो इंक्रीज हुआ है फोर्टी से हाइयर है ईयर ऑन ईयर हम लोग कम्पेयर करें तो और अट्रैक्टिव रिटर्न के कारण इक्विटी में इंक्रीमेंटल एडिशन अकाउंट्स में हो रहे हैं देन नेक्स्ट अपडेट है ऐसे ऐसे बैंक और बजाज फाइनेंस में हाईएस्ट अभी तक का फॉरेन पोर्टफोलियो इन्वेस्टर इनफ्लो देखा गया है 64.99 करोड़ का और 25.708 करोड़ का रिस्पेक्टिवली लास्ट पी वन के पीरियड में रिलायंस इंडस्ट्री और टाटा टी में भी हाइएस्ट एफ पी आउटफ्लो देखा गया है नेक्स्ट अपडेट है है उन्होंने मुंबई में मंडे अप्रूव किया है कि जो रिलायंस इंफ्राटेल लिमिटेड है वो अप्रिजिशन करेगी रिलायंस की प्रॉपर्टी एंड प्रोजेक्ट्स और मैनेजमेंट सर्विसेज लिमिटेड है आम जो रिलायंस जियो है टेलीकॉम टॉवर बिजनेस में देन लास्ट अपडेट है भारती एयरटेल ने अनाउंस किया कि वो कटिंग एज फाइव सर्विस गुवाहाटी में लॉन्च करेंगे और जो गेटवे रहेगा नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया के लिए मॉर्निंग आउटलुक with the technical and derivatives so yesterday we saw that ki nifty uh, there was some kind of profit booking in the nifty and nifty eventually uh, made a day low of uh, 18133 what we believe is that ki nifty there was some kind of there was a little bit profit booking but having said this nifty is in a range 18000 to 18500 that is a larger range for the nifty which we expect uh, nifty to trade during the week so lower sides 18000 will be the demand zone so whenever it comes to 18000 there will be stock specific buying will be seen will be seen and uh, you know, the lowest point which we will keep a watch is 17800 by any chance during this week or maybe in the coming week if 17800 is broken then we will be cautious and we will review the overall view but as of now we believe 18 18000 to 18500 will be the range bound uh, view for the nifty post expiry if the rollovers are good and everything looks positive then we'll take a further positive view coming to bank nifty bank nifty was uh, the one of the strongest bet in yesterday session even though the way the market uh, bank nifty too corrected with the overall market but then the recovery was very sharp uh, only 100 points correction which is a flat uh, stocks like axis bank indus in bank and icis bank showed strength in yesterday section while hgfc bank was the only one counter which closed uh, less than 1% so looking at the bank nifty we believe that ki there was a gap on 11th of november which it is maintaining at 14 41900 so as long as 41900 doesn't break it's in a very strong uptrend and uh, on the higher side 42600 so that's a trigger from the from the one or two day point of view so whenever this 42600 uh, will be taken out there can be a further up in the bank nifty so bias for the nifty and bank nifty both remain positive whenever it comes to the support zone we are maintaining a uh, positive bias in the uh, counter coming to the uh, derivatives outlook uh, nifty futures uh, as per the derivative data we saw the long unwinding in Yesterday's session to the tune of one or uh, minus one point zero one percent, which was a, re- a reduction of minus one point three uh, three eight lakh shares. The put call ratio has further drop uh, or drop from zero point eight nine to zero point seven eight percent. So this slightly as a negative. Uh, the major additions were seen in the eighteen thousand three hundred call options by twelve point ten million shares, and then eighteen four eighteen thousand four hundred call options by eleven point two two million shares. On the put front, eighteen thousand has seen a uh, highest uh, open interest by sixteen nine point eight eight million shares, and then seventeen thousand nine hundred by fifty two point four eight million shares. Coming to Bank Nifty, Bank Nifty in yesterday specific, they have added short position from the derivatives point of view to the tune of one point seven seven percent. Which was an addition of uh, fresh fifty-four thousand uh, shares. 
the interesting fact is that the pci which was uh, trading below one at 0.92 has now climbed to one level uh, one ratio which is a positive uh, trigger for the bank nifty the major additions were seen at 42500 call options by 34.47 million shares and then 42000 put options by 21.66 million shares the three uh, strong three long builders which were seen in yesterday session was escorts by 61% nmdc by 15% and idea by 12% and the top three short positions seen in yesterday session was uh, polycap by 23% lti by 15% and uh, cements by uh, 13% so overall the structure for the market is bullish there were few counters like stocks like bank of baroda indian versus bank uh, central bank the stocks like this were seeing some uh, volume or uh, good amount of volume in yesterday session so that uh, momentum can be seen in this counter so one can keep in watch on this beside this stainless steel was something which which has given very good uh, structure on the charts so one has to watch that and in it specifically i would uh, highlight, i would like to highlight infosys one is is one counter which is looking good on charts so maybe we can see the momentum in this counter so that's all from my end i will hand over to dhawal sir for more research updates thank you and over to you dhawal sir good morning all uh, so couple of fundamental news from my end so jk cement jk uh, uh, paper will acquire 85% stake in uh, two companies horizon packs private limited and security packs packaging private limited both the entities have a combined uh, sales of 840 crores and uh, jk paper will shell out 580 crores for this acquisition this indicates a price to sales of 0.7x the said acquisitions are in synergies with growing packaging sector and corrugated uh, packaging business. This will facilitate expansion of corrugated packaging business and the company's subsidiary in terms of volume and market. We have a buy rating on the stock with a target price of 472. Uh, second news is on Route Mobile. So Route Mobile has announced its entry into Saudi Arabia by opening a sales office in Riyadh. This expansion will help the company in strengthening its position in the Gulf region, where it already has presence in uh, UAE and Kuwait. Route has obtained the license from Saudi Arabia regulator to conduct SMS businesses. And uh, the SMS volume in Saudi is expected to be around 1.5 billion. Uh, so there is tremendous potential. Uh, if we look, uh, the potential market can be up of 29 million people. This is two times the addressable market of UAE and Kuwait. So overall, a positive development for Route. Uh, we do not have a formal coverage on the stock. <coughs> uh, in terms of uh, uh, Zomato, there is a news that uh, there has been a series of resignations. So Mohit Gupta, co-founder, has resigned. And this has been followed by Rahul Ganju, uh, head of new initiatives, Siddharth Jawar, head of Intercity Legends. And uh, the CFO had, uh, deputy CFO had also resigned. So this does not bode well for the stock and we do not have a formal coverage on the stock. Uh, apart from this, there is a, a news of Lighthouse India, which will sell around 320 crores uh, stake in uh, Nika via block deal. The shares will be offered at 180 to 183.5%. That's it from my end. Over to you, Prabhakar. Sir. Thank you, Dhawal. Uh, 